Hi guys, welcome to another trip report. Today we're going to be flying from Pittsburgh to London Heathrow. Uh, 483 to London Heathrow. Now we started our journey in Pittsburgh and this is just a quick clip of the airport. The first flight we'll be on today will be a United Express E-170 flight operated by Shuttle America from Pittsburgh to Washington, Dallas. The legroom on these United E-170s isn't too bad and it's not cramped like most of the other regional jets. <laughs> After departure, the uh, cabin ambience is pretty relaxed, uh, nothing too important is going on, so people are just relaxing and having a nice time. After arrival in Dulles, we had to take a plane train over from the United Terminal or back to the main terminal. Overall, my flight in United was very uneventful but very nice at the same time. I appreciate them getting me to Dulles on time. Bag five, this is a. I then proceeded to the check-in hall to go check in for my Virgin Atlantic flight. Um, you can put it under Martin. Anyway, between seven and twelve. Sorry about that. After checking in, we proceed to the TSA checkpoint, which is actually downstairs below the check-in area. After TSA, we proceed down to the train to take us to the A gates. That's fine. The ride over to the A terminal from the main concourse is pretty quick. Currently walking on the A terminal in Dulles, this is a super nice terminal and it's one of my favorites actually in the US. This terminal has some really good food options, which is great, so you can get some quality food before your flight. Checking out the Virgin Atlantic gate area, it's super nice, however there aren't that many places to charge your phone, so you might want to make sure that your phone is charged before getting to this gate. When you first get to your seat, you're welcome with a amenity kit that includes stuff like a blanket, headphones, and other essentials that you'll need for the flight.
shortly after the departure, the flight attendants came around and distributed menus. Um, inside the menu, a nice little hello note, and then your meal selections for the flight. Um, there are three main courses that you could pick, and then the st standard salad that came with every meal. People started to get up and walk around the cabin and use the bathrooms after the menus were distributed. The cabin's pretty calm as everyone's seated watching movies. So out of the three options that we had to choose from, I decided to go with the beef plate. With that, we had the beef, a fresh salad, a roll of bread, and a key lime pie. It was all really good and uh, very good for a economy meal. Shortly after the meal service, they come around and offer you an option between either a hot chocolate or a hot coffee. I'm going to try and get a little bit of sleep now so that I can be well rested when we arrive in London. We received a breakfast sandwich for breakfast and some candy. People were just starting to wake up and gather their things for our arrival in London. I'd like to thank Virgin Atlantic for a great flight over to London. It was really enjoyable and it went by really quickly. Nothing bad to say about the flight and thanks for Virgin for letting me film.